Everyone wants to buy a plot in Goa and try and build on their own because people think builders are charging too much. So how is that going to work? Let's assume you find a plot that's legally clear, affordable, something that you like and something that can actually be developed without too many issues. Let's be honest, even that's a tall ask. But let's assume you've bought this plot of land, you're feeling very happy with yourself, you think I'm going to build now. No, you're not because you don't have any permissions. And what are the permissions that you need? It starts with something called a sanad, which means that your land is something that can and be residentially developed. The second thing you're going to need is all your designs are going to have to go to town and country planning and they're going to have to approve of every single thing and make sure that it complies with Goa's building norms. Assuming you've got that, you probably think you're good to go. No, you're not because you don't have approval from health and sanitation. So they're going to come and inspect and make sure that everything's fine. If there are trees on your plot, you're going to have to go to forest department and they are going to approve every single tree that you need to cut individually. Now, once you finish that, you might think, oh great, I've done all of this, now I can build. No, you can't. Because after that, you have to take all of your permissions and you have to go to the panchayat and then the panchayat is going to inspect your plot and make sure that everything is good. And at that point, you're going to get something called a construction license. Now, that is the document that you need to start construction. Without this, you can't lay a brick. So I hope this gives you a very good idea of what it means to buy a plot of land and build and go. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments and I look forward to helping you.